Right, it's Monday and we are back to bring you the very best of entertainment. This, this is VN News and we are coming to you from our studio here in Accra, Ghana. I hope you've enjoyed your weekend. It's a new week. Make sure to have a great week. My name is Kelvin FNK. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. So over the weekend, a lot of stories were trending. So these are some of the stories you should be expecting on today's bulletin. Late Ebony Rain's father says Bullet gave him 2,000 Ghana cities out of the 39,000 Ghana cities made from tribute concerts. Gambian Ghana based actress Princess Shingu says 99.9% of men she dated couldn't satisfy her. Whisker celebrates after he completely sold out at his pop up store. Banky W joins his parents to celebrate their fortieth wedding anniversary. And on the international front, Queen of Soul Aretha Franklin is critically ill and surrounded by her family in Detroit. Still coming up on the international front, Justin Bieber reveals he and Ailey Badwin will tie the knot next year. Details of all the stories and sports we have coming up on today's bulletin. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get into it. We'll be right back with more details after the short commercial break. V Nation Pictures is a production firm in Ghana aimed at becoming the renowned production company in Africa and beyond. Services rendered include film production and editing, shooting of TV commercials and videos, photo shooting, event coverage such as wedding, engagement, parties, funerals, etc. Locate V Nation Pictures inside King Solomon's Height on the Tampolini Street of the Community 18 Road. Contact V Nation Pictures on 030 Three nine six two seven seven six or zero two four zero two eight nine nine five two for booking inquiries. You can also reach us on. Right, so welcome back. This is to VN News, and we are just about to kickstart. It's our Monday edition, new week, new level. Of course, follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for you to get a repost of this particular news bulletin and all the exciting programs we have right on VN TV, the powers of entertainment. Let's move straight to our first story where the father of late Ebony Reigns has come out again to speak because this is not the first time he is coming out to speak on a whole lot of issues. It's either his backlashing at the general public or his backlashing bullet. This time around, he's come out to give a striking revelation saying that out of the over 30,000 Ghana cities made from the a tribute concert that were also organized for the late Ebony Reigns, a bullet who happens to be Ebony Reigns manager gave in only 2,000 Ghana cities. So yes, he's saying that he made, he was giving 2,000 Ghana cities out of the 39.9 thousand Ghana cities that was made out of the tribute of uh, Ebony Reigns that was organized for Ebony Reigns to celebrate her great achievements over the past couple of years in as much as it was short. Now the question is, we don't understand what is really seriously going on between Ebony Reigns' father and Bullet because this man is either he's talking about one thing or the other. This time around, revealing that he got only 2,000 Ghana cities. Well, it was not a business in the first place, it was just a tribute concert. So, whatever you got out of it, I think you should just relax. But we don't know how true his claims are. We are waiting to hear a response from Bullet, who we all know will definitely respond to this farmer. So, in the, in the coming days, we're going to see a, a, a Bullet response to a Bonnie Rain's father's claim, saying he was given only 2,000 Ghana cities out of the 39,000 Ghana cities that was made at the Comet Tribute concert. We're going to see how that pans out for them in the coming days. Away from that story, the uh, Gambian Ghana base, uh, uh, she, I, I don't know how to mention her, but she has a curve, she has a Coca Cola shape. I would say the most, uh, the smallest waist in, in the industry. So, Chris Shingle is saying that uh, for the past couple of years, 99.9% uh, .9 of men she dated, none of them could satisfy her. That means only 1%. Who could that be? We don't know. For saying that for 99.9% .9 men couldn't satisfy her, well, we don't know what you have that men could not satisfy you. But at the end of the day, Princess Shingle is coming out. Remember, she said she's single and she's ready to marry. So she's single and mingle because her name is Princess Shingle. So she's ready to, sing, to mingle. Well, we don't know how it's going to work for her, but she's saying that 99% of the men she's dated could not satisfy her. What I just wonder the type of man you need. You, you want actually. We wish Princess Single the very, 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 very best. So remember that last week we brought a report about Josh Dumas saying that she dated John Dumelu for two years and they broke up. Well, 
The reason we're bringing the banter to this story is because it was reported right here on VN uh, News and VN TV on how she revealed that she dated John Dumelo for two years before, uh, you know, uh, breaking up and now John Dumelo is settled down. Well, she's come out to say that they never dated, so it's a counter to that particular report. It was trending over the weekend and we thought it twice to give you a disclaimer right here. And she has come out to say that uh, that was not the exact interview that was put out there, which means her words were twisted and uh, she, she backlashed uh, the UTV, the, the, the support station that aired the interview with Abieko Santana. And I hear they've apologized actually. So from us here on VNTV, we are giving you a banter to that particular story. That is the reason we're bringing it to you to you right here because we made a report on how it was speculated that she dated John Dumelo for two years she said she dated John Dumelo for two years but now she's come out to say it was never so the report or the interview she had with Abieko Santana was twisted so we're just giving you a clear of there so actress Justin Dumas denies saying she once dated John Dumelo so it's great to know that that has been cleared off and I think we should put that in the right context it's, it's actually good and it's high time that the celebrities interviews are actually reported as they 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 they, they held the interview so we your judge with demand all the very 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 best well those are the major stories we have coming from ghana log on to our website www.vnationtv.com you get more trending stories let's move straight to nigeria so as i made mention earlier a lot of stories were trending over the weekend and one of the striking one is the fact that whiskey celebrates after he completely sold out at his pop-up store it's almost a, a known fact that fans go crazy for anything that has whiskey stamped on it be it the show event his concept and most recently his clothing line so the starboy corner announced a few days ago that he will be launching a pop-up store in new york on saturday august 11 june uh, just before uh, the one african music fest on sunday august 12th so yesterday uh, the pop-up shop came up and it was speculated that it was a completely sold out stuff so yes he wrote on his uh, social media and so we sold out everything from pop-up yesterday to you're amazing to me so he acknowledged his fans so that was one of the trending story over the weekend so yes weekly whiskey uh, completely sold out his pop-up store in new york new york not in nigeria not in africa new york well congratulations to the man whiskey so let's talk about someone who is celebrating his parents he, he recently he, not too long got into his own journey of marriage and now he's celebrating his parents who have marked 40 years uh, in their wedding so Banky w joins his parents to celebrate their 40th wedding anniversary i think he has a beautiful family so that's to tell you that of course he and adesia will first leave long so Banky w joined his family in the united states to celebrate his parents 40th wedding anniversary now he joined his brother and sister as they celebrated their parents memorable day so he recalled his wife and this wife Tony Willington took to a social media platform to flaunt the flowers uh, he got for her now according to her he still buys her flowers for no reason so um Banky W is a very romantic husband. I, I mean, and this is why it's making us aware of that. That is to tell you that the background is coming from a romantic people because for his father to have been with his mother and his mother to have been with his father for the past 40 years now, that is to tell you there is something that keeps them together. So Banky W joined his uh, family members to celebrate uh, the wedding and the 40th wedding anniversary of his uh, parents in the United States of America, wishing all the very, very, very best. Well, those are the major stories trending uh, right now, but more a couple of stories will be coming up on our website www.vhctv.com Before we go for a short commercial break, uh, just a quick one Mayuko releases two new singles listing to Push and Fantasy Is it Push, Posh and Fantasy? Posh, P-O-S-H, Posh and Fantasy I hope I pronounced that right So Mayuko has released two new singles, Posh and Fantasy Posh was produced by Not Boy and has a massive Afro pop vibe Fantasy was produced by Kido Minat. Kido Minat. You know the man, right? So, yes, uh, a new song, two new singles coming out from the camp of Mike We all know his song, the uh, uh, David Joe. Wish him all the very, very, very best. Log on to our website, www.vnationtv.com, for more trending stories. We'll be right back with international stories after this short commercial break. Oh. Officer, you give us office. Come here, you are saying officer. Gas up. Yes, that is. We are checking papers on this name. There is one certain guy who walks down one foot on that side. But I'm not and driving car. You are not driving car. Says, Why haven't you been picking your calls? I hope <laughs> what is this you're watching? Oh. Check that thing. Give it back. Wait. Give it this back. Is so funny. What program is this? I'm watching two papers on VNTV. VNTV? 
Oh, come on, nice. Everybody knows about VNTV. VNTV is an online TV. Wow. Yes. You can log on to www.vnationtv.com and you're ready to go. Just like that? Just like that. And the interesting thing is that we have so many amazing programs you can watch. And the coolest thing about VNTV is that, that you get to watch it anywhere. You can watch it on your smart TV, you can watch it on your smartphone, you can watch it on your laptop, iPad, anywhere. It's that cool. Wow. Let me get my stuff uh, so we can uh, go. Not too fast. Why? I thought you wanted us to go to the mall. Yes, that was then. But now, let us stay home and watch VNTV. <laughs> Are you serious? Very, very serious. <laughs> I thought you were mad before. That was before. Oh, who don't like a <laughs> Right, you welcome back. This is Tovi and so we are coming to you from our studios in Accra, Ghana. If you just joining us, you've missed a couple of stories from Ghana and Nigeria. But subscribe to our YouTube channel, you get a repost of this particular news. Let's move straight to the international front where Queen of Soul, Arietta Franklin, is critically ill and surrounded by her family in Detroit. According to reports from Showbiz 411, the Queen of Soul, Arietta Franklin, is currently gravely ill and surrounded by her family in Detroit. Now, friends and family are asking for prayers and privacy for the singing legend. Franklin, who was diagnosed with cancer in 2010, turned 76 in March. Her last performance was in November 2, 2007 for the Elton John AIDS Foundation in New York and her public performances occurred at the Philadelphia Man Center last August. Now she has struggled with weight issues throughout her life, battled alcoholism and was a chain smoker for a long, for a large part of it. So um, the legend herself, a living legend herself, herself is currently healed and the entire family are asking the general public for their prayers and most especially for privacy. They wouldn't want to be bashing controversies here and then all that so we're praying for her she's 76 she's lived well she's a legend she's a queen actually the queen of soul i think i should feature her on the biography so maybe one of the episodes of the biography you'll be seeing the the, the legend herself the living legend herself i get a fan in the queen of soul so as it stands she's critically healed we're praying for her recovery and the family is asking for privacy right now i think most especially from the media because the media will know what is going on how is everything going so they're asking for privacy she's ill right now but we'll definitely do recover from that we wish her all the very 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 best finally on the international front justin bieber reviews he and harley badwin will tie the knot next year so we all know that justin bieber not too long proposed to his newfound love Haley Baldwin and uh, it's been speculated that they are tying the knot anytime soon well they've come out to reveal that no we are not tying the knot until or till next year so Justin Bieber has come out to reveal that he's going to tie the knot next year hopefully well we don't know what is really going to happen you never can tell anything can happen maybe a new person might pop along the line but come on it's Justin Bieber the star so wishing the very best now he's saying that they are going to tie the knot next year I think it's something the general public you know, watch out for just keep our fingers crossed. You never can tell which one will be very, very, very best. Well, those are the major stories we have coming on the international front. Log on to our website www.vinitytv.com for more trendy stories. We'll go for a short commercial break, but God will be bringing to you Focus Sports after this. Hello and welcome to the Monday edition of Focal Sports on VN News on VN TV with me, Godby Ni Amatego. Over the course of the weekend, there were an avalanche of sporting bits of news and activities that transpired during the course of the weekend. In fact, the weekend was pregnant and also power packed with a lot of sporting activities. Now let me start off with some local content where the black satellites were able to stage a wonderful uh, resort in Kotonou far away from um, the capital here in Ghana. They traveled to Kotonou, the capital of Benin and they were able to secure and hold the fort for Ghana as they were able to draw 1-1 with their opponents and then they were able to secure a spot in Niger 2019 that will be the tournament in which we'll see the under 20 lads play over them now they join their counterparts in the form of nigeria burundi burkina faso 
South Africa, Mali, Senegal and the host Niger to participate in the under 20 tournament. So we wish them good luck as they've been able to qualify despite the umpires in Ghana football. Away from their male counterparts, let's look at their female counterparts who are playing in France and they were able to stage a wonderful victory, sweet victory over New Zealand as they won by a goal to nil Ruth Enima on the score sheet as Ghana recorded a wonderful sweet victory as they beat the tournament a farewell in terms of the under 20 FIFA World Cup which is taking place currently in France. It's quite unfortunate that in our first two games we lost by 4-0 against France and also Four goals won against Netherlands, but that notwithstanding, in their last game, we were able to win by a goal to nil. So, kudos to um, Coach Yusuf Basigi and the entire team over there as they were able to at least salvage something for Ghana uh, over there. Now, let's move back to uh, male football and focus on some weekend activities in terms of the French Liga. And uh, let me run you through the results of fixtures that took place over the course of the weekend. Paris Saint Germain, they were able to trash Cayenne by three goals to nil. Neymar da Silva Santos Jr. Mugi da Cuse was on the score sheet, not forgetting Timothy Via and Adrian Rabio as they crashed Cayenne to three goals to nil. Bordeaux also sat at home and lost by two goals to nil against Strasbourg. Olympic Lyonnais Memphis Kwabna Dipe was on the score sheet, not forgetting Burkina Bay Imports cast in the mode of Bertrand Traore. He got his name on the score sheet as they defeated Omien by two goals to nil. Angers, they sat at home and lost by three goals to four to Nime and Lille three defeated Rene by three goals to one. Montpellier also sat at home and lost by two goals to one to Dijon. OJ Senez they lost by a goal to, you know, to Rene and then also, also Saint Etienne they won by two goals to one against Guingamp. Monaco were able to stage a wonderful victory over Nantes by winning by three goals to one. Marseille were very rampant, very ruthless and emphatic in terms of their results as they stage a 4 0 win over Toulouse. Let's look at the league standings of the French Liga after match they won. Marseille, Paris Saint Germain, Los Lille, Monaco, Strasbourg, Lyon, Nimem, Saint Etienne, Dijon, and Rem. They all have three maximum points. Let's go to the bottom three. And then Bordeaux, Cayenne, and Toulouse. They are languishing at the bottom over there. Let's go to the top squares. And Clement Dupre, he has two goals. Dimitri Paye of Marseille, two goals recorded over here. And Jonathan Bamba, who plays for Lost Lille, has also a single goal to boast of over there. Now let's move to some cup competition where the Spanish Super Cup took place in Morocco here in Africa. And at the end of 19 minutes, the results, on, of course, it was undoubted as Barcelona were able to come from a goal down to defeat their opponents cast in the mode of Sevilla. Now, prior to the start of the game, there were a lot of bruha and a lot of um, scaffolds here and there that probably Sevilla might boycott that game. But Sevilla did the professional thing. They did, decided not to boycott the game. They went ahead to play the one-off fixture against uh, Barcelona as they lost by two goals one. Despite the fact that they scored the first goal before Gerard Piquet Benabal equalized and there and then a certain Osman Dembele got the equalizer as Lionel Andres, Messi, Cucitini, La Poga, Atomica and Nano El Distinto recorded his first trophy as captain for FC Barcelona. Away from that, and then we are moving to the land of Germany where Borussia, uh, sorry, Antoine Frankfurt, they played against uh, um, Bayern Munich and then at the end of 19 minutes, another result which is never undoubted in the sense that when Bayern Munich comes up against any other side in German football, it's more or less 50% chances that Bayern Munich are going to win and then on this day, Niko Kovac first out in a competitive fixture for Bayern Munich, they were able to trash and crash pummel their opponents, humiliate them in front of their own um, uh, commerce, uh, commercial bank arena in terms of uh, losing their game by five goals to nil. Goals from Robert Lewandowski, the Polish goal wizard, three goals on the day, hat trick for the uh, Polish goal wizard, and also Kingsley Coman and Thiago Akantara do Nascimento were enough to condemn um, Eintracht Frankfurt to a 5 0 defeat. Let's move to the very exciting, very enthralling, very, very, um, how should I say, um, uh, something of, of huge essence when it comes to marketing, branding, and also adver uh, advertising in terms of the English Premier League. And then the big guns, they all won their games. Manchester United, after 72 seconds, Paul Labile Possibility Pogba opened the account of the 2018 2019 English Premier League season. And then, what a way to start the Premiership with a 2 1 victory over Leicester City. Also, um, uh, money spending with Hampton Wanderers. They played against um, Everton. And at the end of 19 minutes at the Molino, it was 2 2. Bournemouth also defeated. 
Premier, uh, Premier League new boys that is Cardiff by two goals, you know, Fulham after spending all sort of money, splurging the cash in the market, they sat at home and lost to Crystal Palace by two goals, you know, Ghanaian international, Jeffrey Schlopp was on hand to get the first goal for Crystal Palace as they defeated their opponents cast in the mode of Fulham at the Craven Cottage, not forgetting that the John Smith um, stadium you saw Chelsea the Sari ball the Sarismo was on hand as we saw Chelsea crash others to a 3-0 defeat goes from an unlikely source cast in the mode of a setting in Golo County. It was very surprising to see Kante score a goal for Chelsea but that notwithstanding a certain Jorginho was on hand to score from the penalty spot and then Pedro Eliza Rodriguez Ledesma was on hand to clinch the results for Chelsea as they defeated Huddersfield Town. Watford defeated Brighton and Overbeam by two goals to nil at Victory Road. And what a goal scored by Roberto Pereira, the former Juventus star. Absolutely phenomenal on the day. Newcastle also sat at home at the St. James's Park and they were defeated by two goals to one by Tottenham Hotspur. And Liverpool Football Club absolutely delight to watch. They are delectable to the eye. They won by four goals. You know, they were the highest scoring side in terms of the English Premier League on match day one. Goals from Mohamed Salah Ghali, Sadio Mane, the speed merchant. He actually becomes um, the fourth player when it comes to um, scoring consecutive goals um uh, the first the second player to, uh, from liverpool to score consecutive goals in terms of the first three uh, premiership games in terms of the um, last three seasons he has been scoring goals consistently on opening days that is sadio money for you absolutely phenomenal southampton unfortunately they gave us a boring game we didn't score they didn't score any goal over there we didn't record any goal over there in terms of southampton playing against Burnley. as now they sat at home and then unfortunately they lost by two goals you know, against manchester city regardless of the fact that they were playing at home manchester city they show no mercy they are ruthless and rampant they have no mercy for the people now let's look at the league table then liverpool football club after match day one they have three points chelsea three points manchester city three points crystal palace three points Watford three points Bournemouth also have three points Manchester United and Tottenham must be wrap up teams with three points let's go to the bottom three and you have Brighton and Overbeam with no points at all Huddersfield Town no points and West Ham United after splurging a cash after purchasing over eight players they are still languishing at the bottom of the premiership let's look at the top scorers charts and Richarlison De Andrade he has two goals to save off and Sadio Mane the speed merchant two goals also and Roberto Pereira two goals to save up now uh, the premiership has become very scientific and we also need to be very scientific in terms of statistics and details now let's look at what we learned over the course of the weekend in terms of match day one in the game between manchester united and charles and uh, leicester city for progress goal inside three minutes was manchester united's fastest goal scored in a premier league season beating dwight yorks after seven minutes versus everton in the 1999-2000 season newcastle won tottenham two what we learned over there bami dele jermaine ali has scored in 33 different premier league matches and never ended on the losing side winning 27 and drawing six only james milner with 47 victories or 47 unbeaten matches and also darius vassell with 46 have scored in more without losing a game afc bournemouth defeated premier league new boys cardiff city and at the end of 19 what did we learn we learned that cardiff city's neil etheridge is the first goalkeeper to save a penalty on his premier league debut since august 2013 and then also fulham zero crystal palace two it is the third time in 10 premier league seasons that crystal palace have won their opening match with all those wins coming away from home. Addersfield Town against Chelsea. Chelsea have not suffered an opening day defeat away from home since 1998-1999 season when they lost 1-2 at Coventry City. They've currently won 6 and drawn 1 since that particular time. Also, Watford winning against Brighton over Albion. Roberto Pereira has had a hand in each of what was last six Premier League goals, scoring five and assisting one. Now, Wolverhampton Wanderers midfielder Ruben Neves has now scored seven goals from outside the box since the start of last season, more than any other player in the top four tiers of English football. Liverpool Football Club 4, West Ham 0. Sadio Mane is the first player to score in three consecutive opening Premier League matches in the first since John Barnes between 1989 and 1990 and 1991 and 1992. Southampton have not claimed victory in their last five opening day matches 
in the Premier League, drawing four and losing one, last winning in August 2013 at West Bromwich Albion. On that note, I need to bounce out of the studios, but VN News returns shortly after this set of commercials. V Nation Pictures is a production firm in Ghana aimed at becoming the renowned production company in Africa and beyond. Services rendered include film production and editing, shooting of TV commercials and videos, photo shooting, event coverage such as wedding, engagement, parties, funerals, etc. Locate V Nation Pictures inside King Solomon's Heights on the Tampolini Street of the Community 18 Road. Contact V Nation Pictures on 030 three nine six two seven seven six or zero two four zero two eight nine nine five two for booking inquiries you can also reach us on right so that was focus sport brought to you by Colvin, of course so how was the weekend for you very far apart it was even pregnant with a lot of a lot of money. You know, he has the stamps. I wouldn't want. He was pregnant rather than the yes. weekend was pregnant. Pregnant with a lot of matches. I okay. A bunch of matches because in the English Premier League, over mm -hmm. 10 games took place because of one or two other things mm -hmm. here and there. You also go to France where 10 matches took place. Yeah. You go to Germany where they play the Super Cup. And then when you come to Africa, the Spanish Super Cup was played in Morocco. So uh, that is why I say that the, the, the weekend was pregnant. pregnant. Yes. So, so you know me, I'm going to be biased a bit because I'm a fan of Chelsea. What's happening with Chelsea now? For, for football club Chelsea, they were able to record a 3 0 win in their um, yes. first outing under new coach Mauricio Sarri. Uh -huh. The sort of football they practiced while they was very um, delectable. It was delectable, right? Yes, that means we are picking up, right? Absolutely. So very soon we won't be called the women's family anymore. No, no, I, I, I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, so, so, so interesting. Well, before we let you go, let's give you a recap of our headlines. Later, Bonnie Wayne's father says Bullet gave him 2,000 Ghana cities out of the 39,000 Ghana cities made from tribute concerts. Gambian Ghana based actress Princess Hugo says 99.9% .9 of men he dated couldn't satisfy her. Whisker celebrates after he completely sold out his hip pop uh, store. Banky W joins his parents to celebrate their 40th wedding anniversary and on the international front, Queen of Soul Arietha Franklin is critically ill and surrounded by her family in Detroit. Finally, Justin Bieber reveals he and Heidi Baldwin uh, will tie the knot next year. And in sports, Ghana qualifies to AYC after 1-1 one, one still meet with In sports, Ghana qualifies to AYC after 1-1 one, one still meet against Benin. In the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup, the Black Princess is big tournament fell with a 1-0 win over New Zealand. In the league arm, wins for AS Monaco, Marseille, Olympic Lyonnais, as name as leaders for Paris Saint-Germain on match day one. In the Spanish Super Cup, FC Barcelona come from a goal down as Messi clinched first title as captain. In the German Super Cup, Robert Lewandowski bags hat-trick as Bayern claimed first trophy under new coach Nico Kovac and in the English Premier League Manchester United, Chelsea, Tottenham and Man City record routine wins as Liverpool thrash West Ham on match day one. Details of all those stories and more brought to you earlier on on today's bulletin. Log on to our website www.bnhtv.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for you to get a repost of this particular news bulletin. Once again, my name is Kevin Anthony J. And mine is Gordon Yamatevi. Thank